Hello dear students and welcome to the video. In this video, I will talk about all the main ideas that I will cover in week 4 for the pre-calculus course. We are still in unit 4, which is entitled with trigonometric functions and their graphs. We will start this week by taking the A3 exam. In this exam, all the ideas that we cover in the previous 3 weeks will be included. So you have to study them carefully and make sure that you understand all the main ideas that we covered before. Then we will start by talking about the cosine function. First we will give the standard form of the cosine function and introduce the following definitions. How to find the period, how to find the domain, how to find the range, and how to apply certain transformation on the cosine function to get a specific function that we need. One of the most important questions that if we have a graph of a cosine function, we need to find the general rule that follows that graph. After that, we will move to the tangent function. We will start by giving the standard form of the tangent function. And we will introduce the following terms. How to find the domain, how to find the range, how to find the asymptotes for the tangent function, how to find the period, and how to find the amplitude if we have an amplitude. Because the tangent function, it's a ratio between two functions, which are the sine and the cosine. Then, as we did for the cosine function, we will have a graph that follows the tangent function, and we need to write all the things that we know about that graph by finding the period, the domain, the range, etc. Then we have to write the rule that follows that graph, which follows the tangent function. We will finish this week by talking about simple things about the cotangent function, how to write it in the standard form, what's the relation between the cotangent function graph and the tangent function graph, and we will, we, we will leave some terminology for the next week such as finding the period, the domain, the range, the uh, standard form for the Cartesian function if we have the graph. Thank you for listening and I can't wait to see you next class.